buy like an escalator or something and fill that thing up with like 12 12s or something like that and like build some really badass door panels for it but um what is up youtube what's good man welcome back to another video but i want to go ahead and start the video off uh just shout out to all you guys for watching the videos man we're doing really good on the views and i know i told you guys that we were going to do the giveaway for the people that comment done um, I was supposed to put all the names, well I did put all the names and I was going to generate it and I was going to select a winner. But I actually went ahead and picked two winners. I feel that these guys uh, are really like diehard supporters of the channel. It's right for me to, you know, look out for them. Uh, obviously I wish I could look out for everybody and I'm going to because we're going to start doing a few mystery boxes that I'm going to send to people that drop comments here and there. So uh, definitely, you know, drop some comments. These two uh, subscribers and Mousetrap gang members uh, you know, we're just like family, you know what I'm saying? Because, uh, you know, you guys have been watching the videos for a long time. We actually communicate here and there. Go ahead and say uh, Raul Garza at NBS Cisco. Uh, I'm going to, Raul Garza, I'm going to send you some uh, two 8 inch PRV mids so you can put in uh, either vehicle that you got going on on the bills that you say you're doing. Um, and NBS Cisco, uh, I see, man, you're, you take a lot of the information that we do on these videos and you try to apply it to your trucks to your truck and you build stuff so i'm gonna send you a few little items to help you with your build man another big reason why i'm gonna send these guys some stuff is because when i had a little situation as funny as it sounds uh as is as this gonna sound uh those two guys when i actually had a little situation that my cat uh you know ran away or whatever you know they they made little comments you know to somewhat come for me and you know just to show me that you know it's it's more real than just you know a subscriber and stuff like that so and i appreciate that big time uh, a lot of people did send me a lot of you know like dang the cat blah 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 this and that um but you know those two guys like they're really awesome and i talked to them like in a good little you know time here and there so um i'm gonna send you guys some goodies man so definitely uh stay tuned i'm gonna contact you guys later on. real quick uh the raul garza uh subscriber and mousetrap gang member man he doesn't actually have social media but uh nbs cisco does so if you guys want to go ahead and give him a follow and he actually has a youtube channel and go ahead and subscribe to him too uh and comment on his video you know uh, mousetrap gang and let him know that we're here to support him so and that's his youtube channel right there uh, he's doing car audio uh videos as well so man let's support him uh any way that we can gang youtube welcome back to another video and as you can see we are going forward man hold on it's a little dark right now because i have my cover on my truck uh still in here but we are going forward with the build on the Silverado, man. We're going to get this thing done. Okay, so let's just actually just jump into it so we don't waste no time. So I am actually drew this quick picture um, of a speaker, I guess you can call it, on my notepad. And we are actually going to take a quick measurement of the sub. Let's see how, how deep it actually is. So we'll say it's six and a quarter. Six. Point two five. I always like to do like decibels. All right, next let's actually take a full measurement of what's actually the sub size. It's probably gonna be like 12 and a half or 13. So we'll just go ahead and say it's 13. So we'll just draw a quick circle and then we'll do top to bottom 13, 13 inches. I, I still have my cover on the truck because I wanna measure, uh, you know, I, we have those brackets, these things right here. And so I wanted to measure and see the height of it because on the video, I don't know if I got cut, got, got, uh, got cut short um, on the video because I ran out of memory space, but I'm actually going to build a floor uh, out of a uh, three quarter inch uh, birch probably, but I'm going to uh, resin it and fiberglass mat it so it, it at least can handle if there's any water or anything in here um, because I want to mount the box down to it pretty good so I don't have any like brackets or any type of mounting brackets on the exterior part of the box so everything's done uh, inside uh, the box but you'll see how I am gonna mount it uh, through uh, the videos and you know as we build basically I am gonna go ahead and measure from the floor to the pole so we'll go ahead and say it's 20 inches which is really good and the reason why I'm actually measuring up to here is because I'm hoping to make my box a little bit lower because I may do probably like a two layer top uh, because as the, the time goes building the box, we're going to do some cool stuff on the side of it and the back of it 
but everything's gonna try to get it's just gonna try to stay uh, before like that wheel well you know what I'm saying I'm gonna try to keep everything um, in that area because in the back right here I still want to be able to put like wood or if I go buy plants or groceries etc etc I want to try to keep everything over there but we are going to do some cool stuff with this guys so um, man this this build's going to be pretty cool okay as you can see like my cover it's just something leather and so basically like I said we're going to try to stay everything inside this area right here so what I actually want to do is I'm going to build the floor with three quarters but we're going to fiberglass and mat it obviously so it could uh, resist the uh, the elements of the environment which is like rain and all kinds of stuff because I want to be able to mount the box inside of it so you don't see no brackets so we can do like batteries right next to it and everything so it looks pretty good but the box work and a lot of majority of all the panels that are back here we're going to rhino line them so it looks it has like that nice black uh, look and I'm actually debating whether it's a uh, rhino line the truck so it has like that new look but we're gonna do you know something with it but so everything's gonna be rhino line so figure the box is gonna be in this area but like right here along the sides I'm gonna put like probably like eights or sixes or tens so it looks really good so there's like voice coming out on this sides and then I'm gonna actually drop you know an insert video I'm gonna do like uh, speakers along the side right here as well so we still have voice on the side but we still have this open so all that stuff's right there and it looks pretty nice and we're going to do a plexiglass in the back so you can see inside it with lights same thing with here we're going to do like some uh, nice light stuff it may be right uh, mousetrap gang or like the youtube name or the tiktok name so when people see the truck they already know what, whose truck this is and we're going to make this thing look like a1 and be very loud at the same time so i'm actually going to go with the e-series subs because like i said i'm not trying to compete with nobody i just want to have a little bit of fun with uh, the system and have some music and honestly i really don't build the trucks to try to like compete against nobody uh you know i pretty much just do it you know um because my kids actually they love it you know they love when we ride you know we listen to their little kids music with the music full blast my son actually likes like dubstep music so he really loves it and then you know he gets pretty crunk whenever he uh listens to his little like five nights at freddy music with the dubstep stuff so pretty much i'm doing it for for them you know what I'm saying i really like you know when they you know enjoy being in okay, these cars so basically what we're going to do actually right now we're actually going to take real deal measurements so we can work off of it yesterday we took measurements just to see uh, how much airspace we got but right now we're going to see reality what it is because we actually put a piece of three quarter in there so we can take real deal measurements of it and i want to try to stay like underneath that line right there or even if the box has to come up because you know we're probably never going to be near these brackets but we just need to make sure that we don't go nowhere near it and i'm going to just go with the e uh, subs just because i already know what they can do uh ported wise and we did do a bandpass box for them but they didn't last long inside there so we're going to go ahead and do the project build for bandpass inside here and we're actually going to put like 4,000, maybe 5,000 watts on these guys just to see if they can handle the power they probably won't they're probably going to blow but you know it doesn't hurt anything to to try them and then you know obviously we'll build the box and i'll make it pretty depth so uh we can just slap a different sub inside there in case they blow which they probably will okay so i'm actually going to measure right now the box let me do my artwork real quick so i can at least write numbers down and then we'll go inside and do actual specs so let me scoot this piece of wood all the way over and let me see so we'll say for a safe number 17 high now let's do the width all the way back a safe number we'll say 23 and now let's see the actual size of it we'll just go with this line to this line so we'll actually say 56 and i'm pretty much trying to go for a real deal wide port not just like a square inside the middle i really want to try to do one like as wide as possible and I really need a 150 square inch port 
uh, and I'm actually going to do 30 by I think 5 or something like that and that equals 150 uh, because I, I want wide base I don't just want straight forward I want wide base so like I said you know the box it'll probably be like up to like right here where that notebook's at uh, going all the way across and then right here if we can try to fit like maybe like two eights and two tweeters like you know firing one way that way and one you know backwards same thing over there maybe put a pair of tens like right there facing back and then you know with the plexiglass window so you can see um, the back of the box and with LEDs is lights as well and then we'll do uh, panels going across right here with mids firing you know out behind grill mesh <laughs> same thing right here so they, it, it gives it a nice little look and still be loud and um, still fit stuff back here that's the main important thing okay so so that's pretty much it for that's pretty much it for today's video I just want to give you guys a quick breakdown and a quick um, idea of what's going on and you know port wise and the look that I'm actually going for the truck so um, you know drop some comments feel free to let me know uh, what you guys think we are gonna go with those uh, sundown subs the e-series ones uh, and we're gonna actually push those things to the limit and we're gonna try I think I'm just gonna go ahead and just do like 4,000 watts on them because like I said this is my daily truck and I really don't want to ruin my AC and panels and everything like falling apart because uh, I need this truck to last me a little bit and I mean sooner or later we'll get to like a nice build you know we may even like that van right there do some crazy stuff but you know I like to do a little things a little bit more uh, you know nicer so hopefully you know one day we can probably buy like an escalator or something and fill that thing up with like 1212s or something like that and like build some really badass door panels for it but um give me some input let me know what you guys think uh tomorrow's video we're actually gonna really uh sit down and discuss the formula for the box uh and you know show you the design that i think i'm gonna actually go with for it that's gonna work best for the space that we got going on and to give us the best output for the space and the subs that we're going to do you know obviously band passes need some power to you know get them things to really do what they're supposed to so i really feel um putting those 4,000 watts on it and just making sure that we adjust that amp to its best potential subs will last a good little minute and you know um and if they blow they blow so what so be it uh, you know we're we'll replace subs or you know upgrade subs i mean that's what it's all you know about it's just you know trial and error things you know so we do have these door panels the door panels that my friend gave me so obviously these are for the bigger doors in the back but we do have the fronts but i don't know guys i really don't know i think i'm just gonna work off the door panels that i got in my truck but we're gonna pretty much do like grill insert door panels just like i did for the titty panel that we did so because we want a little nice classier um look so really quick so we'll do the door panels and you know obviously we're gonna do grill mesh on it and then like right here we'll put like the YouTube name or mousetrap gang or something and then like I don't know about doing something on the rear maybe maybe not but you know along here we'll make an enclosure so I can put some mids in here so we can have some mids to uh, listen to inside but I pretty much try to I'm gonna try to do all the amps right here inside just so they don't get really hot in the back and I'll try to let me see if we have a yeah, no, we don't have no AC on the rear of the console. So I really think they just, they'll just stay a little bit more cooler inside the bed of the truck versus in the back with that leather top. It'll just be beaming with the with the heat. But, you know, we'll see what happens. You know, a lot can change along the build. I may just say fuck it and, you know, just, you know, go all out. But, man, we are about to transform this truck into something nasty. That's it for today, gang, man. I got to start cutting some hair. It's Friday. You already know what time it is. Uh, you know, subscribe to the Life of Mousetrap, man, and subscribe to Mousetrap TV. Uh, and, you know, we'll see where the day takes us. Uh, I'm going to try to go get some. Uh, there's like a car meet tonight, uh, 813 meets. So we're going to try to go out there tonight so I can drop another video for you guys of car content uh, probably tomorrow. Or I'll just actually post that on the Mousetrap TV so you can watch that on there because I'm just going to try to do car audio on this one. And, I mean, we'll see what, what happens. So subscribe to the channel definitely drop them comments let me know what you guys think of the build it's coming in hot and we'll catch you guys tomorrow man peace